What's up guys, Josiah here with an unboxing for you of something that I've been looking forward to getting for quite a while now. It is the Invisible Shield by Zag, and I got it from my second gen iPod Touch. And for those of you who aren't familiar with the Invisible Shield, it's basically just a thin clear coating that you put on the outside of your devices that prevents them from getting scratched. It's also extremely durable. I don't know if you guys can see that graphic there. But that's a pen trying to poke up into it. It's not breaking. So, again, it's really durable, and I'm looking forward to getting to use it on my iPod. It's not extremely scratched. If anything, I don't know if you guys can even see any scratches there, but I've been trying to take pretty good care of it. But from what I read on the website, it said that it may actually hide the scratches, so I'm looking forward to seeing how that turns out. If it works out well, I may actually end up getting one for my MacBook as well. But for now, I just wanted to give you guys a quick unboxing and an installation video. And shortly afterwards, I'll try to get you guys some scratch test videos as well as my review. Okay, so here you have your box, and basically just shows how durable it is. It's also invisible and scratch-proof. On the back, it just has a bunch of different reviews from like the New York Times, CNN, Chicago Tribune, all saying like really great things about it. Also, toward the bottom, it says if your invisible shield ever gets damaged, we will replace it for free for life. So I'm looking forward to seeing how tough this thing is. Also at the top here, it says military grade. I think they actually put it on like the chopper blades in the military, so it's kind of cool. Okay, so what do we have here? Congratulations, you're now in possession of the best invisible protection money can buy. That's what I hear. Basically, you have application instructions right there. We'll go ahead and try to follow those. You also have all of your different little plastic things. We'll try to just tear those out of here. Okay, so it's a pretty thin layer. It, it doesn't feel too tacky either, so I think it should be okay with the touch. Then on the other side here, you have the label for the back. Right there. Extremely thin. Wow, very nice. You also have what's called shield spray. From what I've read, basically you like you spray this stuff on your fingers before you apply it and then you put it on the device and I'll show you guys how to apply it in just a sec. And finally you have your install squeegee which basically just run along the device to, to get rid of any excess liquid or bubbles. Okay, so the first thing it says at the top here is wash your hands and fingertips thoroughly before beginning installation. I'm good with that. And it says spray your fingertips with shield spray before handling the invisible shield to avoid putting fingerprints on it. So we'll go ahead and just spray my fingertips here. Okay, then peel the invisible shield off its paper backing. Remember to install one invisible shield piece at a time. So we'll start with the back here. Okay. Now it says, hold the invisible shield in your hand, adhesive side up. Be careful not to let the invisible shield adhere to itself. Then lightly spray the front and back sides of the invisible shield with shield spray. So we'll go ahead and spray that. Like that. And it says, hint, spray the invisible shield, not your device. So go ahead and do the other side too. Okay, then apply the invisible shield to your device, adhesive side down, and slide into place. I assume like that. I think you can just kind of wiggle it around a little bit just so it goes into place here. Like this. Okay, and then it says use the squeegee to just remove any extra bubbles.
Okay. And then go ahead and just flip it over and do the other side as well. Now with this one you have the first part is just the top and then you also have a little part for the button here. So we're going to pull this off first. And remove the little button there. Put that off to the side for a sec. Okay, so again we'll just spray this little thing here. Like that. Spray the other side. Like that. Just apply it on there. Even it up. Just get rid of the extra moisture here. Okay, now it seems like the edges here are starting to kind of come off a little bit, so I'm not sure if those are supposed to stay on or if they'll just they'll start adhering to it after a little bit of time. This is the hard part about the iPod Touch is that the surface is curved on the back, so it keeps wanting to pull away from itself. Seems like it's starting to stick pretty well. Around the front here, it looks like the front panel is sticking pretty well too. Just moving it over a little bit to even it up. Looks good so far. back, it still seems like it keeps wanting to come off. Maybe if you leave that for long enough, it'll, it'll fix itself. Alright, so after a little bit of fudging, it seems like all but just a couple of these corner edges are, are sticking pretty well. If you guys can see, it's working out pretty well. And then the last little part that I have here is the little button cover. Spray that real quick. Just apply it on here. Oh, okay, there's a little outer ring on it. I think you have to actually pull that off. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna put this little thing on here. Slide it into place. And there you have it. I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for a little bit and then once this thing is finished curing, I might actually give it just a couple of days, then I'll try to get you guys some scratch tests and Based on my initial impressions so far, it seems like it's it's a little bit tacky, but it's not like it'll prevent me from being able to use the touch screen, so it should be fine. I know it's it's partially just the design of the iPod, but I wish they could have designed it a little bit better so that I didn't have to spend so much time getting the corners to work out. 
But either way, just wanted to show you guys a quick installation video, and I'll try to get some more videos coming soon. Talk to you guys later.